Welcome to Casting Cajun. I'm your host, Tony Fontenot, fishing Oakdale, Louisiana, in a private lake with Mr. Riley Johnson. We're targeting big bass, so get ready for an exciting half hour with Casting Cajun. Cast and Cajun is brought to you by Thibodeau Regional Medical Center for expert, compassionate care. Grafton Dermatology, specializing in diseases of the skin, hair, nails, and cosmetic surgery. Cajun Home Improvements, the last roof you'll ever buy. Don's Wholesale, your truck superstore with the largest selection of pre-owned trucks in Louisiana. Homotravel.com, experience world-class fishing in the heart of Louisiana. Visit Homotravel.com. Bourgeois Meat Market, miracles in meat since 1891. And by Tony Sacheries, makes everything taste great. Good morning, Skinner. Good morning, Skinner. Yeah, I go home. Yeah. I go home. Yeah. Don't tell your mama and your papa. You do me, Skinner. Fish on. Good fish. Good fish. Woo, good fish. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, she's going to splash again. Good fish. There he is. Ooh, baby. Yeah. I got a lot of them this size in here. Like that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. First fish of the day. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Nice fish. Fat, nice, healthy fish. Right. Let her go. Did he stock this with chocolate and white perch too? He put white perch in here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They stocked it with white perch uh, and Harvard brim, I think. And and uh, Florida bass. It's mostly Florida. Uh, there was some native bass in here when they stocked it. But they stocked it in Florida. Fish on. I Fish saw on. it twitching when it was falling. Uh huh. Fish on. Fish? Okay, yeah. nice. Not hey. as big as the last one, but it's I a nice one. I want one. Jumping. I want an old worm. <laughs> you want one of my worms? I Mr. want Ruff? one of your worms. <laughs> Is that enough? Another pretty bass, healthy. This might be a male. The last one was full of eggs. Yeah, I know they do. You like most of the females should be full of eggs right now, because uh -huh. uh, the water temperature is 57 degrees, so they haven't spawned yet. You know, last week, a couple weeks ago, it got up to 60 for uh, one day, but they don't usually don't spawn until around 70 degrees. What I've been fishing with this morning is a worm by Mr. Twister. It's called a hang tin, it's a 10 inch worm, and the color I'm using is Red River Special. That seems to be the key to it. Mr. Raleigh, mm -hmm. how much is he charging you for that worm now that he's caught for you? Okay, and, uh, <laughs> tell him I got a credit card to go discover, I'll pay for it. The only one we don't take is American Express. <laughs> this one. There you go. Another good fish. Come on, baby. Oh, yes, good, good one. Good yeah. one. You'll keep, Ooh, or let go anyway. You'll make oh, the show. Yeah, you got him. About two what pounds. You what you call him on? It's biting hard. On that same, I caught him on that uh, same one. hang tin, 10 inch worm by Mr. Twister. <laughs> Get him, boy. Get him, Mr. Raleigh! Woo! Get him in the boat, no! It's all right, I got him. You want me to lift him or what? I got him. Whoa, man! That's a nice fish. Oh, is it? All right. Well, you see, I finally got one on your worm. Yeah. <laughs> Pull nice. that up, I'm going to take your picture with it. Yeah, all right. Put that rod out your yeah. face, eh? All right. 
Nice, the boy, he's, he's pretty too. He don't have a, a blemish hit on him. No. He goes. <laughs> I want another one of those worms. I want another one of those big worms. That seems to be the, the bait. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna catch me a big one with this one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Riley, how should we be fishing this part of the pond? This part of the pond here, they had a, they have they made a, a levee because there was a canal right here, and that's where the water would come in to go in the other part. After they dug this, they made the levee here. So this part of the levee comes down to about eight, nine, ten feet while we're fishing. There's a grass bed that runs about ten feet out, and the fish we've been catching on the edge of the grass bed, right, right next to uh, the deep water this morning. Now, in the summertime, I run the top of the bait over the, the grass and catch them fish in the grass. But right now, they, they're in that deeper water. And they, I guess it's just sitting right at the edge of the grass. That's what we're catching them anyway. Not everybody stumps on that side. Don't go away. We'll be right back. More bass fishing. Hey! Saw it? <laughs> Thought it was a fish. My name is Raleigh Johnson, and, and I've been fishing all my life, just about. I started when I was about probably six years old. I was born and raised on a farm next to a bayou, and I learned to fish on that bar behind the house. One day I went out and I caught a bass. Well, that put some flame in me. I started bass fishing. And when I got 18 years old, I joined the club. Was, uh, bass had just got started then, back in the 60s, where they were forming clubs and they were uh, fishing tournaments and so uh, I joined a, 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 a club out of Bunky called Bunky Bassmasters and we fished all over. We fished the Leader Bend, we fished Celine Lotto Lake, Spring Bayer and I was president of it for about four years. Today I'm, I'm still fishing, I'm 86 years old, I'm still staying in the boat. Sometimes I go by myself, I don't like it, but I do go by myself. <laughs> But I'd like to have a partner with me in case something happens. But anyway, I'm 86 and I'm in good shape. This used to be a rice field. Uh, when I lived in Oakdale back in the late 70s, uh, a fellow by the name Tanja Lee And I got to know him. He had that, the same lake they have now, but it was a lot smaller. Then Mr. Elliott and, and Bob Champagne bought the property from him. And I started coming here probably 15 years ago. Uh, right after they bought it, and uh, uh, he enlarged the lake, and he stocked it with Florida bass, and Harvard brim, and some white perch. So there's a lot of fish in the lake. See, a shad, an injured shad swimming in the water. Shad, or it might be a little perch. Looks like a shad. Yep, shad. Fish on! Oh, oh. We were right looking at the bike. shad, and I see my line swimming under the boat. Whoa! <laughs> Baby. <laughs> he was probably hey, going after that nice shed. Fish. I'm going to keep fishing around that shed. <laughs> here, you bit the wrong thing. That wasn't real food. Now, look, the shad's down there. Now you can go get him. Oh, some nice bass, Mr. You saw him? Yeah, you saw him before? Uh, uh, no, I was watching the shad. It's still uh -huh. swimming over there. All right, let me let you go, baby. That's a nice fish. Yeah. They got a bunch. That's what I said. They got, this is like this wool of that. <laughs> when you Every, really hit them. Yeah, every fish we caught yeah. so far was on this, this Mr. Twister Hang Tin. Ten inch worm with a ribbon tail. Mm. Well, we don't we don't keep many fish out of here. No, we just keep the small some ones you take out. The camp. You take the so, small ones. Yeah. And uh, stuff like that. But most of the fish are thrown back. All right, and where'd that shad go? That's our that's our bait. That's, that's to attract the fish. We need <laughs> an injured shad swimming around. That was fun. Yeah. I'm sitting there, got my line in the water, and I'm looking at the shad, filming the shad, waiting for a fish to come and scoop him up. And I noticed my line swimming under the boat. <laughs> Go figure. You know what I did notice? I need to slow my bait down. 
because my bait was just hanging out there in the water. I wasn't even reeling uh -huh. when he picked it up and started swimming under the boat with it. Yeah. So Coming I'm going to try the... letting it sit a little bit. <laughs> Coming to the deep side. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, oh, yeah. Get it, boy. Um, whoa. Woo. Woo. That's a big one. You want me to lift that one? Oh, yeah, let me lift him. Don't try to pick him up. Whoa, whoa. Teamwork, yeah, buddy. How about it? And look, I even That's got a bait in my, in my shirt. Uh, can can oh, you unhook yeah. me? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. I ain't got my finger now. Oh, no, no, no. Ah. No. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Hook my shirt, hook his finger, hook the bass. Everything's getting hooked. That's the nicest one yet, yeah, Mr. Nice Rock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, girl. All right. Are you okay? Are you okay? There she goes. Go on. Thank you. Going back in the depth. All right. Let's do that again. I'll tell you what, Mr. Roddy might be 86 years old, but uh, he was nice enough to let me catch a few fish before he turned it on, but he saved the big ones for himself. Don't go away. When we come back, Chef Chad Ferris will prepare his delicious alligator nachos. All right, it's game day. So, guys are coming over. We gotta get something fun for them. Let's make nachos. Not their traditional nachos, let's make alligator nachos. We get our alligator from Vermilion Farms in Vermilion Parish, and we do some fun things with it. We're gonna get our black beans ready. We can get an assortment of peppers, onions, cilantro, avocados, tomatoes, and we're gonna get a, a bowl of cheese. All right, now we're gonna blacken some gator. To assemble them, we're not going to use chips out of, out of bag. We're going to make our own chips. We're getting corn tortilla chips. We're going to cut them up. We're going to fry them off, salt them off, and uh, be ready for when the guys get here. All right, this is how I layer the ingredients so they stay high and pretty. Start off with the, the star to show our black and alligator. Um, I put a little cheese, and then we can come with um, our tomatoes, and we want to spread them out. Then our fresh jalapenos, we'll come with some roasted corn, just a little bit. Some roasted poblanos. We'll go with a little more cheese. Our seasoned black beans. More cheese. And then we come with our chips. Make sure our chips have cheese on every chip. We do a layer. Do some cheese. More chips. More cheese. And this is the trick. Put the plate you're going to serve it on, flip it over. Goes in the oven to melt the cheese, and you got nachos. Well, Chef, I always say this is my favorite part. My first blackened alligator nacho. Mm. Ready for the game? Won't be my last. Blackened alligator nachos. 
Ferris's kitchen or a hurricane hole? Mm. I had a great time. My buddy, Mr. Riley, had to leave early and go see his girlfriend. And he had warned me that this wasn't the best time to come fish, that I ought to wait till next month when you'll be catching fish almost every cast, and that's when the big ones will be biting. But I couldn't stand it any longer. I had to come check the place out. I'm still glad I did. As always, got to give a special thanks to our military, both our active troops and our veterans. So until next time, keep on casting. Woodrow was by the house last night, and we were watching a television show about scuba divers. And you know how they always sit on the edge of the boat with their tank and their mask, and they fall over backwards into the water. Well, Boudreaux looked at me kind of confused. He said, Tony, why do you think they always fall over backwards into the water? I said, well, Boudreaux, if they fell forward, they'd still be in the boat. <laughs> <laughs>